cold outside. Hi. Got everything? Yes, honey. But if you don't stop having these silly cravings at four in the morning, I will freeze to death. Pistachio? <laughs> 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 yes, it is. A spoon. What's that one? Hot fudge. Pour it right on top. <laughs> okay, pour the other one right on top. But honey, these are sardines. I know. Right on top. <laughs> honey, how possible you can eat that? It's wonderful. Want some? <laughs> <laughs> that Ricky though. Kind of cute. Hey, this is RKA, and this is another episode of Awkward Marketing. Because marketing your small business can be awkward, sometimes awful, I'll help you make it awesome. By the time you watch this episode of Awkward Marketing, this Lucy will have had her little Ricky. Or in our case, my husband Roberto and I are welcoming little Alice K to the family. Yep, I can finally use the hashtag mompreneur and post memes about drinking wine to get me through a hard day of parenting. JK. Well, no, not really. I brought wine with me to the delivery room. As I was preparing to have my first child, I couldn't help thinking about how the process of planning, building, and launching a website is kind of like having a baby. Only a lot less painful. But for most of my clients, it is an emotional process that brings with it a lot of soul searching, a little bit of anxiety, and as with labor and delivery, when that website is finally born, that's just the beginning of the adventure, not the end. So to celebrate our new arrival and my new unofficial co-host of Awkward Marketing, I thought I'd give you a few baby-inspired tips for launching your next website. Number one, just as expectant moms and dads register for the things they need in anticipation of their baby shower, you wanna let your friends, family, fans know just how they can support you well in advance of your launch date. Some entrepreneurs will assemble a launch team to help them spread the word in the days and weeks leading up to a launch. If this sounds expensive, you can pay your launch team in kind with free access to resources, enrollment in courses or workshops, one-on-one -on -one services, some people do raffles or giveaways, or you can even do affiliate kickbacks. The key is to make it as easy as possible to have your back. Best case scenario, you make a launch kit that has ready-made graphics, social media shareables, email scripts, and then spell out exactly how your supporters can best help you when and where. Number two, find a good doctor and a good doula. The number one piece of advice I've received in anticipation of having my baby is to hire a doula in addition to my doctor to help me before during and after the labor. This advice applies to your website launch too. If your web designer is like your doctor, a good VA is like your doula. They can be your right hand in the days and weeks leading up to your launch, when all the launch hubbub is going down, and after your launch when you're settling into the daily work of using and promoting your website. Number three, prep your birth plan. A website launch like labor is no time to just show up, cross your fingers, and hope for the best. A little prep and planning go a long way. I recommend having a plan for what you want visitors to do on your website the day and week of your launch. Your digital digs are about to get a whole lot of attention. Why not take advantage of that by making sure your visitors are seeing and doing exactly what you want them to on your new site? One of my favorite things I've seen people do and my own clients have done is a digital scavenger hunt where you'll set up a list of questions, hide the answers in key areas around your site, and reward the winners. Visitors get a full tour of your website and offerings. They're looking exactly where you want them to look on your new site, and they're having a fun and unforgettable experience with your brand. You might offer a special discount or a free bonus for completing a task on the site, like signing up for your newsletter, so that you can ensure that your visitor's first visit to your new site isn't their last. One last note about birth plans. As much as we wanna prepare for launch day and labor day, 
you also should be prepared to throw your birth plan out the window. Expect things to go wrong. Expect there to be glitches and hiccups. If you've hired a doula slash VA, they'll be there to help you with the mishaps as they come up along the way. But if you're expecting things to go wrong, you'll handle it so much more gracefully when they inevitably do. Finally, as I said before, remember that when your website launches just as in having a baby, this is the beginning, not the end of the journey. This is where the fun and the work really begins when you can take your website and run with it, nurture it, love on it, watch it grow and evolve in the days, weeks, months, and years to come. And from my family to yours, happy launching. You got this, baby.